Hi there, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be going over everything that was wrong with my body in the first week that I got to Florida. From the time that I left Oregon to when I got to Florida and my body was just like, hey, Annika, I'm gonna give you so many problems right now. Thanks. So my travel day went great. I got in, we, I met up with my friends, we got food, everything was smooth. The time change was a little bit rough, but nothing out of the ordinary that my body hasn't handled before in the past. And so I arrived on a Sunday and that next Monday, I was exploring Disney Springs, kind of getting my footing in Orlando before I moved in. And my body was just like, wait a minute, I'm gonna make you so ill. And I already had problems because I hit my head the Friday before I left on the corner of a TV. I just was carrying something and I walked right into it and it made a huge bump on like the middle of my forehead. It was like seriously like big bump and it was green and it was terrible and painful and the next morning I ended up vomiting gross. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Pretty sure I had a minor concussion and that was super painful but the show must go on. So I left for Orlando the next day and was feeling okay. So problem number one. Problem number two, getting sick once I got to Orlando, like I said, and my stomach just was in so much pain. I didn't eat anything in particular. As the night went on, I kept getting super sharp pains. And so these are the kind of pains where I thought my stomach was trying to kill me. I <laughs> was having so many issues. I'm gonna leave out some of the gory details, but my stomach was in so much pain. I was having fevers and sweats and chills all at once. I was feeling so nauseous. I thought like the world was ending, my body was going down. I swear I was gonna have to call an ambulance to come get me because this was my time. My time was over, it's done, that's it. <laughs> so much pain. So, I tried to just tough it out and the next morning I had to check in for a Disney college program. But I couldn't eat anything that morning and I was in I was still in so much pain. And so I went to check in, went through that, dropped all my stuff off at my apartment, everything that's behind me. And so I wanted to just like get through, push through, it's okay, like suck it up, you're fine. I ended up going to the ER because I was in so much pain. It was terrible and insurance is terrible when you're out of state and across the country and they just don't think your insurance exists when really it does. The ER takes pretty much everyone's insurance. I think they have to by law, probably. So I described all of my symptoms. I told them I'd also hit my head just a few days before, but totally not connected. So I had to get two CT scans. I spent a total of I think like six hours in the ER on my move-in day and that was super fun because all of my other roommates went to go get groceries and dinner and bond and move in and I was at the ER laying in bed with a nice IV not able to eat anything but craving the worst junk food of my entire life like it was absolute torture they came back and they said Oh, you have colitis. Go home. And I'm like, what? What's colitis? And basically, colitis is a long-term stomach bowel disease thing happening. But I went and saw another stomach doctor and he thinks I just caught an infection. So hopefully I don't have colitis. We don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about the long-term effects of that because pretty sure I don't have that. They just have to say that and send you home with a diagnosis, which is kind of annoying and scary, but I was very relieved to slowly get better after that. But the days following, I think for literally three or four days, um, while I'm still getting acquainted to Orlando, I couldn't eat anything. 
I was nibbling on plain bread. I was having saltine crackers here and there, some water, that's about it. It was torture because all my roommates and I went to Disney Springs and we wanted to eat some fun food and we wanted to get like good sandwiches and I ate some bread. And it was painful to eat it. I literally lost like eight pounds within the first two weeks I was here. I had shorts that were way too tight on me before and now they're big on me, which is fine, I guess, but terrible. I'm still introducing different kinds of foods to my stomach because it's still healing and it can take like three months for your stomach to heal, which sucks. This was terrible timing because the Epcot Food and Wine Festival is going on, Halloween's going on with all the fun snacks, and if you follow me on Instagram, I may have been posting all the fun treats that there are. Honestly, I didn't even eat most of them. Some of them were my friends. Some of them I shared and only had a little bit because my stomach was so sensitive. And it's been a fun ride figuring out what I can eat, what will hurt my stomach, what will make me nauseous. Also from the ER, they sent me home with antibiotics and I had to take them twice a day and there were like two huge pills. They gave me a rash all over my face. Like I had an allergic reaction, but I didn't know it was an allergic reaction until like the last day I was taking it. I thought maybe, oh, in Florida, my face is just gonna break out like a crazy person and my neck was breaking out. I had terrible red bumps, like outrageous red bumps and my face doesn't break out like super bad. And so this was very out of the ordinary and I should have known when it first broke out, but didn't realize until the very last day. I took it for a week. And so once I got off of them, my face like cleared up. So I had a terrible reaction to my antibiotics. Awful. Oh, in part three slash four of all my bodily problems, I have a bad back and a bad hip. And so I've been seeing so many doctors since January of this year. Um, for just my hip and then for my back for the past like year. Um, no one really knows what's wrong. It's great. I couldn't get in for physical therapy before I left. They were like, oh, we can get you in end of September. And I'm like, I leave beginning of September. So that's not gonna work. Basically, I've gotten MRIs, the special, um, what's it called? Contrast shots where they inject contrast into a specific area so that when they scan it, they can check and see if all the joints are good. There's no tears. I didn't have any visible problems. And so basically everything is muscular, meaning my life sucks. <laughs> I have some exercises that I can do, but I couldn't do them for the first couple of weeks because my stomach was in so much pain. And so my stomach was dying, my back was dying from so much walking, my hip felt like it was gonna fall off. And my hip flexor is just so inflamed and it comes and goes with really sharp pain and seizing up. So honestly, it's been great timing. So to recap, my head's doing better. My stomach's doing better. My back is tired after my very long shifts um, working in the parks. My hip is just in chronic pain forever. I can't take ibuprofen because of my stomach and I can't take uh, my other prescribed meds because of my stomach. And so it's all kind of been, let's push through, <laughs> be strong, you can do this. At least that's what I've been telling myself. Takeaways from this video, take care of yourself, drink lots of water, don't catch an infection, hold in your stomach and strengthen your abs because if you don't strengthen your abs, you'll hurt your back. At least in my case, because I have a super sway back and so naturally my spine is like this and that's my stomach, but really you gotta work on straightening it out.
If any of you out there have been suffering with chronic pain or random illnesses that just take you down at a very important time in your life, please leave a comment and let me know because you're not alone. About to go take some more Tylenol because that's pretty much the only thing I can handle right now. Trying to not let all of those things bring me down or make my program less enjoyable and less exciting even though it was a big downer in my first week when I was just feeling terrible because I had to stop drinking coffee and if you know me, my caffeine addiction is so real and so I don't know how many days I've gone without coffee, but it's too many. I had my first <laughs> sip of espresso this morning, only one shot with um, some almond milk, so that went down okay. So I think I might slowly reintroduce coffee, even though that was a terrible habit, but I think I need it in my life. I've decided. <laughs> Cutting off coffee cold turkey was almost as bad as my stomach infection. I was so moody, I was so angry and irritable, and I had shakes, I felt nauseous. I think that was also part of my antibiotics problem. I was feeling terrible. I almost had to leave one of my Disney training classes because I just felt so sick. I didn't know if I was gonna like throw up or pass out or both at the same time. It's been quite a wild ride. So thanks so much for listening to my update on my health. If you have any tips for someone with back and hip problems, I'd love to hear it. Please like this video if you would like me to get better. <laughs> thanks again for watching. Stay healthy out there. <laughs>